everybody. I'm going to pick up my tonneau cover. It's been 12 days since I ordered it, but that's okay. At least it's here. All right, got the tonneau cover. Now we're going to install it today. So I'll show you how to do it. Not like I had to know. <laughs> But I'm sure it's not hard. So. Well, here it is, folks. The tunnel cover. There's part number if you're interested. This is the soft one. Now we're going to open it up and see what's inside. First thing you do is put these weather strip pieces on here. Now these are the larger of the, there's four on here, two for each side. The larger ones go towards the cab. All right, next step is to take the actual roll cover and place it here. Look at our handy dandy diagram. See that? There's the bulkhead. There's that little bit. So the next thing you do is put this stuff on loosely. So you put that. You can see that right there. It slides right in there. Do the other side. Joker in there. Just roll it up over it. Okay. Alright, next thing we're gonna do is clamp these side rails onto the bed of the truck. There's three on each side. Now that I lined up the center of this roll cover with the rails and the bed, I'm confident everything's in the right position. Okay, now it tells you to bring the clamps as close to the bulkhead as possible. So I got them in a the position. I'm gonna tighten them down, front ones first. Okay, before we tighten up the clamps in the center, we need to roll the cover all the way back first to make sure it's going to line up to the very back. Clicked in there. Velcro goes down nice. Make sure it's on both sides. Yep. It looks even to me. All right, so now I'm going to tighten all the clamps down. They actually have torque specs, so I'm going to tighten them all down, decent, and torque them, and the clamps will be in. Oh, you suck. Why do you slip? So I took a break and came back. We had some lunch first, and I came back out here. As I torqued one of these down, I want to show you this. See, when this bottom clamp is resting right there, that's how you know within the torque range seven foot pounds of pressure on it. At first I'm thinking I'll just tighten them up and that's good enough, but no, you actually have to bring this bottom clamp up to the top. It takes a few minutes, right? It's something simple like this and it gives you trouble anyway. You see that little lip right there? This is where I got my finger. Well, this little deal has to sit in there right. If it's sitting out too far and you go to torque it down, it just shifts out. So there's a lot of little things they don't tell you on the instructions that are important to do. Now we got them all in. They were seven foot pounds each. That ain't going anywhere. Okay. I'm gonna unroll it. 
make sure it's seated properly and clicks in where it's supposed to. Got to make sure this little piece fits under there. Click it down. Then you take these and stretch them out onto the Velcro so they're nice and tight. Looks pretty good. All right, soft tunnel cover. The last thing we're gonna do is put a piece of weather strip on there so when we close the tailgate, it'll make it more difficult for any water to get in there. That's how it looks. I like it. Lastly, we got some weather stripping bits to put in. Pretty simple. Just line it up here. There's one. And another one. One more piece of weather strip. Last bit of weather strip goes right along this little deal right here. That's done. Took me a little longer than I thought because I was messing around with them clips. Something to think about, <clears throat> leave them loose when you're putting the cover on, adjust them later, and then carefully and slowly tighten them down and add the torque specs. That's my install video for the Ford Soft Roll-Up Tonneau Cover. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, please like and subscribe to J&D Motorcycle. That'll do it for this one. As always, ride safe out there, and have an outstanding day.